Hello everyone. In this episode I have this pair of uh, quite large speakers for repair. These are Maki Thump TH12A speakers with uh, 12 inch woofers. And these are so called active speakers with amplifiers built in. I was looking for something like this for a while and finally managed to pick up this pair quite cheap because one of them does not power up and I was told that something might be wrong with the other one but I'm not sure so let's start with the one that does not power up have a look inside and try to figure out what's wrong here is the back of the speaker where the amplifier module is and I removed the screws around the perimeter here so let's try to lift this module. There you go. So there are three wires. Uh, these thick ones should be woofer and tweeter. I'm not sure which is which. And this one should be the blue LED on the front. Let's have a closer look at this amplifier module. Here is the mains input, then a power switch, a filter, switch in power supply. This is the audio input, preamp and power amplifier. And apparently there are two separate amplifiers here. Uh, this device, which is bolted to the heatsink, is uh, TDA7294, I believe, and it is for the tweeter. And the blue cable was connected here. And there must be some other amplifier chip under this metal bracket. Perhaps we can see something under the board. Not quite. So there must be some other amplifier chip clamped uh, to the uh, aluminium backplate for heat sinking and the yellow cable from the woofer was connected here. This looks like a temperature sensor so here must be some uh, protection from overheating I suppose. And there are more active devices bolted to the heat sink in the power supply as well. This is a bridge rectifier, a MOSFET. These two devices have two diodes in each. And by the way, I saw that these three boards are marked TH15A. Here, here and here. So they must be reused from a larger speaker with a 15 inch woofer. I'm trying to power this thing up. I connected this um, angled mains cable, which is very handy in such cases. And of course I have to be super careful. High voltage is going to be all over the place, here and in the power supply. And when I turn this thing on, I hear clicking in the power supply. Do you hear the clicking? And that usually means that the primary side is OK. It is trying to start, but cannot for some reason. Perhaps there is no proper feedback from the secondary side. So it is shutting down again and then after a while trying to start again and so on. So let's turn this thing off and start checking. Let's say if the output of the power supply is shorted, um, we can try with disconnected load. This is preamp and the power amp, so we can disconnect that and try that way. And uh, check for shorted uh, transistors, diodes and such. I'm trying with disconnected load and it is still clicking. 
Uh, let me put microphone closer to this thing. So I started checking for shorted components and such and I found this. Let me try to zoom in and show you. It's under the board. Do you see that pin which is broken off right there? I wonder how did this happen? So, to fix that pin I will need to lift this power supply board but for that I will need to detach these um, devices from the heat sink. However, the screws uh, holding those devices don't go all the way through so to access them I will need to remove this whole heat sink and it is attached by these um, seven screws here and also apparently there is a thermal compound between this heat sink and the back plate so this job is not going to be very easy all right i managed to lift this heat sink off and this is just to remove these two screws really because these three nuts could be undone from this side but these two screws can only be removed from this side what a mess thermal compound is all over the place here is the bottom of the power supply board and let me zoom in and show these diodes closer Look at this. Do you see that the middle pin is broken off right at the base? So this device needs to be replaced. I found the schematics for TH15A model. How cool is that? And as we have seen the boards are identical. So, this is the power supply schematic. Let's have a closer look. This is our secondary. And it is supposed to produce plus and minus 28 volt rails. And these are the diodes. There are two diodes in parallel. And uh, they are MUR1620. Let's see if I can find a datasheet for them. I found the Spartan Mouser MUR1620CTG. Rectifiers 200 volts, 16 amps, ultra fast. And ultra fast means recovery time 35 nanoseconds. Max surge current 100 amps. Quite cool. I don't have anything like this handy at the moment, so I need to order these guys 87 cents a piece. In stock can ship immediately. Should be here in a few days. Several days later the parts have arrived. I bought a few just in case. That's what I usually do if the parts are cheap enough and not too specialized.
All right, the power supply is back on the heat sink, still disconnected. We have this LED right next to the power switch connected directly to the power supply. So we should see it light up. Here it is. Let's give this a go. Yes, it's on. This is a very good sign. Checking the voltage just in case. This is the positive rail. 29 volts as expected. And this is the negative rail, also as expected. Excellent. All right, the speaker is back together and seems to be working fine. And I couldn't find anything wrong with the second one. I will use them for a while to see if there is anything intermittent. Here I hooked up my Alice's drum machine to give them a go. Let me move the microphone closer. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this look into a Maki Fump speaker. If you did, give this thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. Bye.